Hey guys, I'm Dina from simplyhomecook.com and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this show-stopping salmon wellington. Now, if you've never heard of the salmon wellington, it's an elegant dish of seasoned salmon placed on a bed of cheesy sauteed spinach and then it's wrapped in puff pastry and baked to scrumptious perfection. The flavor and texture combination in this dish is just out of this world and it is guaranteed to blow your guests away. All right, let's get started by making the spinach filling first. In a large skillet, melt two tablespoons of unsalted butter over medium heat, then add one finely chopped shallot along with two minced garlic cloves. You'll wanna saute the chopped shallots until they become translucent, so it'll take about a few minutes. Now pick the heat up to medium high and pour in a quarter cup of white wine and let it cook out for a few minutes. Then bring the heat back to medium and add three ounces of softened cream cheese into the skillet and stir until the cream cheese is melted. Now add two tablespoons of plain breadcrumbs, a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and five ounces of baby spinach. Now it might seem like a lot of spinach at first, but believe me, once you saute everything, the spinach will wilt down and it'll look as if, it'll look as if there's nothing in there. So feel free to add even more if you'd like. Once the spinach is all wilted down, you can just set it aside for later. Now take out four seven ounce salmon fillets and then generously season it with some salt and pepper. And then you wanna set that aside as well. Now take out your thawed puff pastry sheet and unfold it onto a lightly floured surface. And you wanna roll out both sheets to about 10 inches by 14 inches. Then cut them in half so you end up with a total of four sheets of puff pastry. Now place each seasoned salmon filet in the center of each puff pastry sheet. Depending on the size of your salmon filet, you might wanna roll out the puff pastry just a tad bit more. You just wanna make sure you have about two inches, a two inch border around each salmon filet. All right, now divide the spinach mixture into four equal parts and then you wanna place it on top of each salmon filet. Just kind of spread it around and pat it down so it's a, not just one big blob, but just like a nice even spread. Now you wanna make your egg wash by whisking one large egg with a teaspoon of water. And then you wanna brush the edges of the puff pastry sheet and then begin folding it over, starting from the longer side. So just fold both sides over onto the salmon. And then before you fold over the two other flaps, you wanna brush some more egg wash and then gently fold that over again. The egg wash is gonna help stick everything together so it doesn't unfold while it, the salmon wellington bakes. Now line your baking sheet with some parchment paper and gently transfer the salmon wellingtons onto the parchment paper, seam side down. Now using a sharp knife, you wanna make some cross hatch slits on top of the salmon wellington and then you wanna generously brush it with some more egg wash. Now depending on the type of oven you have, your baking times may vary. So if you have a convection oven, meaning there's a fan inside there that's circulating the hot air, you wanna bake the salmon wellingtons at 390 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes. So if you have a conventional oven, meaning there's no fan inside there, you wanna bake it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the puff pastry is golden brown. This salmon wellington recipe has been on my blog for ages and I'm so, so excited to finally be able to share this video with you. And if you enjoyed it, please be sure to share, like, and subscribe to our channel so you guys never miss out on any of our new recipes. See you next time.